Hello my gamers, it's Alex and welcome back to another summer DIY. So today I am going to be continuing my DIY square popsicle kebabs. So in the last episode I showed you how to make the lemonade kebab. So for today I'm going to be showing you how to make a candy kebab and you can use any candy in this as long as it um, will either float around or sink. However you want it to be, just pick your favorite candy and put it on in. One thing that I would not suggest though is like Skittles. Now you can put in Skittles. Uh, they'll work just fine, but the color will kind of erode. So if you want that look, then that's fantastic, but it's pretty much a blast of flavor just everywhere. So if you don't want it to be really smeary, then I would suggest not going that route. Okay, so I'm going to be using another one of my square containers, well, cube containers, because they're not two-dimensional. So if you didn't see the last episode, then I'll go over, over the supplies that we are using that are the same from the last episode. So um, if you are making these into kebab popsicles, then these are kebab skewers from Walmart, and they are GTC brand. And I've cut one in half just so that it will fit. And you can use any sort of soda or drink to put in here. But I am just going to be using water for today. And for drawing, you can either put the lid back on. Whoops, the lid back on. Or you can put some saran wrap over it. And you'll need some tape to seal it up if you would like to and also to hold the kebab skewer in place while it is freezing. Oh yeah, and for the candy to demonstrate, I'm going to be using Pez. Okay, so I'm now going to take my container and just fill it with some water. Uh, no specific amount, it really just depends on the size. But put just a little more in there than you would normally, but not toward the point where it's overflowing, just in case when you're tampering with it, some water might spill, or in any case of any other catastrophe happening. So I'm going to enter my tap water, and I'll see you guys when I'm finished. Okay, full of tap water, and I'm just going to pour a little bit out. Here it's lined up around that rim right there. And by the way, I got these little containers at Walmart. You can get them at pretty much any grocery store or convenience store. Uh, I've also seen them at HEB before. Okay, so I'm just going to take my designated amount of Pez, plop them in. Now, it's a lot more ideal to have a candy that will float, uh, but these Pez, if we kind of mix them around, will still do. But they are not very buoyant, therefore, um, they aren't going to be anywhere in like the middle of the popsicle. Which is why I would suggest using a less dense candy, such as gummy bears, for instance. Um, or you could use something, uh, just anything really that will fit, that floats. But the reason that I'm using Pez today is because that will give me a nice pink water aroma. So if you do not want to do it the natural way, then if you want your popsicles to be colored, and you can always put in trusty old food coloring. Okay, so I'm just going to stir my pez around until I have a nice pink color to the water. And you might kind of be able to smell the flavor after a little while. I'm sorry, I know you guys can't really see that very well. But it is very pinkish water, but it's still natural. Okay, so if I don't want to have Pez just floating at the bottom of the water, 
Then I will show you guys one more thing that you can do. And that is, of course, um, making sure that I washed my hands. Once I have that color gone, I can just strip the pads out. And now that they are like this, One moment guys, sorry I can't edit this part out, but I will be right back once I have the supply that I need. One second. Okay guys, I'm back. So what I have is, uh, this is actually a slicer for pills, but who knew? They're about the same consistency as PEDS, so you can use it here too. Now uh, try to kind of clean it off a bit, because you most certainly do not want the dust from pills inside your popsicle. And um, I would suggest having adult supervision here, because there is a blade, and when I was young, I cut myself on it. Okay, so like I would do with any regular pill. I'm just going to place my Pez on a triangle right in the center and line it up here and crunch my blade. And now I'm going to turn around those fragments and crunch again. Just chop, chop, chop it up. Now I want my Pez pieces to be somewhat small Pez. What I'm going for is almost like a Rocky Road type of look, but with Pez fragments. So even the little dust bits you do want. So then I'm just going to carefully scrape out all of that Pez. And I can clear it out and move on to the next pez. Now, how big you want the chunks to be is really up to you. And you honestly don't have to cut them up at all because you might not have a candy like this. And you might just be able to do what I showed you the first time, which is simply plopping them into the popsicle. Now I have some more crushed pez. Place in here. All right, and there you have it. So right now it does not look like much. But I'm going to stir some more. And revive my beautiful pink color. But this time I have Pez in there. Okay, so now for that final step to wrap up this DIY. I'm going to take my saran wrap. Guys, sorry, I'm having some difficulties. Okay. Ran wrap. And tear a piece off. So now it's all bunched up, but I can spread it out like so. And then I'm ready to put it over the slit. And I can tape it down now. And 
hands, I can cut off any excess saran wrap that I might have. Okay, so now that we have it like that, like I did in the last time, I'm going to poke a couple holes around for air, but this is optional. This is just so that the frigid air can get in faster. And in about the middle, best I can do, I'm going to poke a hole so that I can place my kebab skewer in the center. Now, it will move once you carry it around because at this state, we still have a liquid on our hands. So I'm just going to tape it into position, but once this pop is frozen, you will not have to worry about this anymore and you can take off the tape. And this is going to act like the popsicle stick for the handle. Okay, so now that we have it in place, I'm just going to take a paper towel and put it underneath here just so that we are 100% spill proof. And I am now ready to place it in the freezer to end the video. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and comment, and as always, subscribe for more. I will see you guys next time with some more summer DIYs.